Hello Divination, welcome to this tutorial where I will be showing you how to beautify your images with Divi's new filter options. So these options offer a ton of new possibilities for you to edit your images within the Divi Builder itself. So without any further ado, let's get to it. So before we dive into the tutorial, let's take a look at some different results that you can obtain. Um, by using the different filter options that are provided to you by DV. So we're going to recreate some different examples that will help you, you know, explore these filter options and see what you can do for your own images. But of course, it always depends on the image that you are using. Okay, let's get started. So we have this image as our first example and we're going to show you how to create a black and white version that's pretty bright. So go to the design tab of your image module and start by putting the saturation to 0% and then change the brightness to 96% and add a little contrast of 124% so this gives us the following result and then we're going to show you how to make another black and white image uh, which is a little bit more subtle so again open the filter options and put the saturation to zero and continue by reducing the brightness to 92% and adding some contrast um, 161% and last but not least, we're also going to add 18% to the invert option. All right, so let's scroll down. And this is the normal version of the second picture that we're using. So we're going to recreate a low contrast image and again, go to the filter subcategory, start by adding 164% to the saturation, then add 132% to the brightness, and 52% to the contrast, which gives us the following result. Another thing you could do is change the color of a certain image, and that's the thing we'll be showing you in this next example. So we're going to the design tab right away, open the filter subcategory, and we're just going to play around with the hue option over here. So you can choose a color that matches the image that you're showcasing on your website and for this example we're using 207 degrees and we'll also add some saturation we'll put that to 109 percent and we'll reduce the brightness to 88 percent and we get the following result so just a few changes and your image looks totally different so let's move on to the next example where we'll be showing you how to create an image that's slightly warmer than the original one. So again, we'll open the filter subcategory and we're going to change the saturation into 190%. We're going to reduce the brightness to 86% and add 12% to the invert option. And here we have our result, and we're going to do the same thing, but instead of making it warmer, we're going to make this image darker. So first of all, we're going to add 135% to the saturation, and then we're going to reduce the brightness to 71%, Change the contrast to 170%, add 16% to the invert option, and last but not least, add some sepia as well, 23% in this example. Let's move on to the next example. So we have the normal version over there, and we're going to make this image slightly sepia. Um, by going to the filter subcategory again and changing the saturation to 61%. Then we'll also reduce the brightness to 84%. Add some contrast of 144% and 
and some invert of 12% as well. And last but not least, we'll add 19% to the sepia option. There we have our results. So the next image we're creating has some additional gray tones in it. And we're going to start by reducing the saturation to 48%. And then reduce the brightness to 72%, add some contrast, 116%, which will make our image look a little bit more gray. So you can also apply these filter options to illustrations. And one of the things you can do is change the color of your illustration by again playing with the hue option over here. And this is super easy if you have illustrations that are included into a layout pack and you want to change the colors of the illustrations to match with the rest of your website, you can simply play with the hue option. And another thing we're going to show you and the last thing as well is making an image a little bit more sepia and a little bit more transparent as well. So we'll start by reducing the brightness to 92% and then we're going to add some sepia, 32%. And we're also going to reduce the opacity to 65% and then we have the following results. Always make sure that you save your page after you're done editing your images and then exit the visual builder. So let's take a look at the results that we've shown you how to recreate. So the purpose of this tutorial is to show you how many different results that you can get from playing around with the filter options and how you can beautify your images. So it always depends on the image that you're using and the different combination of settings you're using to make your image look the way you want it to. Well, that was all for this video. Thanks for tuning in. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe to our social media channel so you'll get a notification every time we have something new for you. Thanks again for watching and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.